Welcome to day 20 of the bike trip and <clears throat> today if you remember from yesterday's video when I recorded the video about resting I talked about how it was raining and today I'm riding again and look at that it's beautiful outside I am <laughs> the luckiest ever that my the rain ended up being in the middle of my rest day and then now today is super sunny I'm excited for today Today is the last I'm riding because I'm going to get to San Francisco and I'm going to get stay there for about six days. And then after that, I'll get on the road and continue going from San Francisco to San Diego. Okay. So in a part of my trip, I have to pass Big Sur. And from an accommodation to an accommodation that I can find right now, there is about 100 miles, 96 miles to be exact, distance. That for bikers, bicycle riders, is called a century, a century ride. A century ride is a 100 mile ride or 160 kilometers ride where <clears throat> you do it the whole thing in one day. Now, as we know, with all the adjustments that I made on day 19 on the settings of my bike, theoretically, I should be able to do a century ride if I only use the bike in power assist one and sometimes on power assist two. So, all of those calculations were theoretical on day 19 and I was able to get about 30 miles from one of my batteries going up hills and down hills and that's the part that's the very important part if I don't have up hills and down hills if I'm going flat then obviously I can do a central right on this bike no problem uh, as long as my back can stand it I can, can, as long as I can sit on the saddle the bike can go for 100 miles, no problem, if it's flat, right? The challenge is that these are not flat. So on the day that, on the century mile I'm talking about, I have to go 6,000 feet up. I have to come 5,500 feet down. Uh, so, knowing that I'm riding a 410 pound machine, and considering doing a century ride uh, that's freaking scary <laughs> thinking that I won't be able to use anything more than pedal assist 2 on my bike for the whole trip and by the way the whole trip takes about 10 hours without rest which with rest probably we are looking at 14 to 15 hours for that day uh, so it might not be the best idea necessarily to do this but also I'm gonna see where that's gonna um, end up taking me you can clearly hear that I'm nervous about this century ride, right? <laughs> I almost missed my exit and had to turn back and get my exit. Uh Train conversion, or you can. I just fell, so I don't know yet. Here, let me pull over and see if you need any help, okay? Thank you. 
it's so sick. Scary to fall on a road like this. Yeah. And I broke my oh. shifting gear, which is the worst thing can happen. Right. Do you um did you do you feel like you broke your hand or is it just No. No? Okay. No. no just, and everything else is okay, you just that seems like shook up maybe and sore? Yeah. It's okay. be alright? It seems like it's that's you a sure? heavy bike. That's okay. it. That's a beautiful bike. Thank you. Can we do anything for you? Just one second. Let me see if I can lift the bike. Okay. And do you need help lifting it? Well, this is a heavy bike, so I don't want to hurt you. But yes, I can <laughs> use some help. Just even lift up. Yeah. Bike. Now you know better than to be by yourself, right? Well, <laughs> I am riding from Seattle to San Diego. Oh, wow. Uh, no, lots of people do that. Yeah, by themselves? Uh, well, not lots of people do that. Yeah, you do. That's my camera. Sorry, thank you. Okay, so that's all entirely. Okay. So problem, I just fell down and I broke so many things on the bike. That's my camera holder. That's not a big deal. I broke my shifting gear. So I'm on the fifth gear and I'm stuck there probably. I haven't started riding it. An amazing family stopped by. Uh, father and daughter stopped by and helped me to pick up the bike I'm a little bit scratched up in my hand a little bit scratched up in the leg and the other one but I'm okay um, good thing is that this happened right when I'm heading to close to San Francisco where there's gonna be a lot of bike shops in the area and I believe there is also a rad bike shop there but I'll definitely need to deal with a bike sometime this week I don't actually know if the bike would go um, my brakes feel normal um, my uh, what is it called my wheel actually turned 100% like 100, like entirely 180 degrees so I gotta see if that works um, but yeah that was a bad fall and it was actually recorded on camera because I was talking about something else and I had a bad fall. There's a town in five minutes walking distance, so I'm gonna go there and figure myself out there. Many times on this trip I talked about what does your emergency look like, and I said you choose your vehicle, you choose your bike based on your emergency, but this is where the e-bike is coming to the picture for me because I'm in an emergency right now. And I'm all scratched up, bruised up, all those things. But the more important than that is that I have a broke the knob that changed my gears. So I can't go up or down. I'm stuck on the fifth gear right now. And for the next 50 miles, there is absolutely nothing around me. No cell signal, no other people that is with me. I mean, I don't know even if they would be able to help me with anything. I have tools for changing the, uh, like the brake cable and shifting gear cable, but I don't have <laughs> the actual knob with me. I mean, like who would have the knob? So, I mean, I have to take the bike to a bike shop, but there's no bike shop around me for around 50 miles, I believe. And this is where this electric bike is coming to help me because instead of using lower gears, I can use more motor. And instead of using higher gears, I can just, um, just not use high gears right? so 
I'm still moving. I'm still on the way. And just the bike is moving me forward. So I don't think I'm going to be able to record any views today. So the video of today will be very different because I also broke my camera holder and that's what it is. I can put the camera on my helmet but then that will put a lot of weight on my head. I did that for the first two days that I was on the ride on the bike and it led into really bad neck pain. Um, because these are long rides, right? These are natural rides. So, anyways, uh, I'll have to bike very steady today. I already had a five hour bike ride, but then now, because I won't be able to use the bike at its optimum, most likely I'm looking at seven to eight hours. Same mileage, 55 or 60 miles. Yeah, same same 60 miles as earlier obviously but I just gotta go it's slower because I can't shift gears <sighs> remember I said every day is about solving one thing and the universe is up leveling me well thanks universe for finding easier things I can deal with easily so now giving me a little bit bigger challenge I mean, this is not the worst that could happen. I could break my hand or leg or get hit by a car. So, but still, this is a challenge with all the pain. I already had pain in my left hand and now it's, it really hurts. Anyways, I'll go back to biking and surviving. But look at this beautiful view. Have you noticed that? Every time I'm suffering with something, I'll end with, but look at this beautiful view. I mean, this trip has all of it combined. Okay, I'll go back to biking and surviving. <coughs> okay, so it's about 10 minutes after my fall. Am I wrist hurts really badly my right wrist hurts really badly and i'm in a town right now and i'm gonna uh i have some antibiotic uh sprays so i'm gonna put some antibiotic sprays on my hand and on my all my scratches uh, i'm gonna take some pain med and see if they have a bike shop around here so I can fix the shifting gear but I don't think I can because they need to have Shimano's uh, like this particular model for being able to fix this and I don't think they will okay. I'll keep you guys posted so there is no bike shop around here that's fine and um, I also noticed that I ripped <coughs> my bag and uh, other things so I need to fix that I don't think I'm gonna buy new bags probably I'm just gonna put some gorilla tape or something on it uh, <coughs> the worse the bike looks like the less chances it has to be stolen <laughs> so I don't mind about cosmetic things, but I do care about the electronic things and mechanical things. Anyways, let's get back on the road because this ride is gonna be long. Oh, my thumb hurts so much, I can't press <laughs> the stop button with that thumb. I have to use the other hand to stop it. It's been about 25 minutes since I fell down. And now I'm feeling <coughs> some pain oh, on the side of my body going down from my ribs to my hip but on the side and 
now I'm having some pain in my like a electric pain uh, nerve pain going to my right feet and well Google says I have to go straight here but this is closed I feel like this is closed for cars because there is a path and the bikes have passed it oh shit <laughs> well, that just happened as well I got stuck there in that <laughs> and the hank that you heard was my own horn where my body actually pressed the button ah, it didn't feel like it has such a low clearance yeah yeah this is good for bikes it clearly has a path for the bikes to go and then it has the path for ah, cars closed Ow. okay Go back to biking properly. I'll see you guys back on the road. One of the things that I'm still doing though is I'm still not putting the I'm not necessarily using the motor to its full power because I don't have enough gears I mean I have, I have no gears right now to be able to catch up with the motor also I don't want to use the motor without really using the pedals because that will drastically decrease the range of the bike which I may run out of battery entirely and uh, and I mean run out of battery entirely and I not get to my destination now that I don't have any proper gears and drivetrain but so I'm riding the bike at Pedal is one which is using about 70 to 80 watts per hour and uh, using the bike as a one gear bike <laughs> like a single speed bike which is interesting because riding a single speed bike for touring uh, and not using a motor or barely using a motor it's an interesting experience. Anyways, uh, I'm back to bike. Dealing with all the things I'm dealing with today. So, this place is called Harmony Village. I'm about three hours, fifteen minutes more to go. That's forty-two miles. About an hour ago. I believe I fell uh, right now I'm so warm that I feel like even if I had any pain I wouldn't feel it uh, all my painkillers also working so I'm doing okay I put the bike on pedal assist too so it gives me a little bit more power and we're doing well we're doing okay with the battery we're doing okay and with the range we're doing okay and I got lucky that the bike was on the fifth gear not on zero not on not on one and not on seven so the fifth one the fifth gear is a good gear to be stuck at and I'm can go a little bit off heels with it uh, but then the good thing with the uphills is that I can use the motor I can go straight and flat and down hills not super fast but I can go about 12-13 miles per hour on 
shift on, on the fifth gear. So, I have to 